Hi, I'm Paul Rudlavich from Synergy Electrical Sales. Part of my daily job is helping uh, program the Lutron Biosystem on site. So I'm on those job sites, and what I want to share with you today is just a few installation tips that when I'm out there programming, if um, that information I'm about a little earlier, make the installation smoother. So I just want to share that to help, uh, as always, refer to the manufacturer's instructions. But just a few tips. Um, this is the most common load controller in the Vive system. Uh, contractors always do well with these installing them. Just the one little tip is um, to be able to access the buttons on the front of there. You wouldn't want to put two of these right next to each other where you couldn't get to the buttons. Happens occasionally, not often, but just a little tip. The other part is you can turn them on and off once you have them energized from here, which is helpful um, as well. All right, so the one of the common load switches is our wireless Pico. It looks like this. Most of them are white, but this one's black. Um, little mounting tip form. So uh, they can mount right on drywall, or you can mount it to a uh, to a back box. Either one's fine. It's up to you how you want to do it. But if you're going to mount it right to the wall and like this, the little tip I'll give you. Um, which is in the instructions, but again, just sharing it, is that there's a plastic piece on here for that type of installation. And if you if you kept the plastic piece, it would wobble uh, and it doesn't look as nice. So you can just break that off with your hand like this, do the installation and it sits flush. So that is the tip with our Pico. All right, so occupancy sensors. They look like this, they're wireless. Rule of thumb, six feet away from any supply air registers. You always wanna keep them six feet away so that the movement of the air doesn't turn the lights um, on incorrectly. So that's the tip number one. When you mount it, you wanna mount it uh, on the center of a two by two tile without any other penetrations through it whenever possible. Reason for that is when we're programming the system, if we need to move the sensor, it's really easy to move the tile. So keep that one um, in mind. Now I'm gonna talk about actually installing the sensor. There's lots of different approaches. Um, the installation includes some hollow wall anchors. They can work great. Um, but the one thing it includes as well, which I want to share with you, is this special little clip. Um, looks like this. It goes up through the center of what holds it. And that goes up through your ceiling tile. Now there's this little metal clip uh, that now comes with it. And this is really helpful. So what, what you want to do is I'm gonna use my fingers as a ceiling tile. And then above the tile, slide this over and then tighten it down. And the reason for this clip is some ceiling tiles, if you tighten it down without the clip, uh, the sensor can sag just a little bit out of the ceiling, enough to drive you nuts. So you wanna make sure that you uh, use that clip that's there as well. All right, so move the sensors. Um, all right, so daylight sensors. So this is uh, the daylight sensor, which is also wireless and uh, we want to point the hour towards the window. The goal is if uh, we can install it right, then we don't have to uh, touch it later while on the job site, and that saves you time, saves everybody time, so that's a good thing. But the one thing to consider for pendant fixtures, right, that gets overlooked sometimes, is we don't want to install our daylight sensor where it gets light from the pendant fixture. So we want to move that um, away from the fixture so it doesn't get light. That's one that, um, you know, we can help, you can text your Lushan rep if you have questions about that. Just say, hey, I'm thinking about putting this daylight sensor here. What do you think? And we can help you walk through the proper placement. Just again, so you don't have to go back later when everything's nice and neat on the job site, moving ladders around and, uh, and making a mess. So that's it for the daylight sensor. Again, with that one, also put it on the center of a two by two tile whenever possible without penetrations. Just makes it easy to move if you need to. And the last one I'm going to show you is with the Vive Hub. Um, so it comes in here. We've got our Vive Hub in our box. Uh, this is the hub, and it also has a power supply that goes with it. Um, you want to see it, bud? All right, so you're helping me out here, too. So the power supply, if you read the spec sheets, um, the power supply uh, can be mounted up to 100 feet away from the hub. So the suggestion there is just Put a little extra slack in the line if you maybe an extra, I don't know, 25, 50 feet in case you need to move the hub. Most jobs we don't, but every time, you know, every once in a while we do. So that would help you out with that as well. So after, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>